welcome to the hill country folks down here in southwest texas near sabinow or lakey or even somewhat close to uvalde we are down here pretty good ways and i'm hunting i'm very excited about this by the way i'm hunting with west and i think hopefully white as well from the tomorrow ranch um, this is a trip that i've been trying to put together for a long time not just a bird hunt, but just to come down to the Two Mara Ranch and hunt with these guys. And uh, I'm very uh, stoked about this. So I've got about another, let's see, probably 15 or 20 minutes or so until we're going to be at the ranch. And I'm pumped. I'm not sure what we're going to do today because it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I left super early uh, to get here early. And uh, I'm, I know we're going to bird hunt this afternoon, but I, we're also going to, I'm going to film a separate video and take you guys around the ranch, show you the animals, uh, get you guys acquainted at the same time I'm getting acquainted. We've got some unusual September weather. It is 61 degrees and it was 55 most of the way here. So pretty stinking awesome for South Texas with this cool, cool weather and it's going to make things really, really nice. Hopefully the birds will be flying and either whether they are or not, we're going to have a great time. I can promise you that. So, no telling what we're going to get into, but I'm going to capture the entire weekend's events and bring them to you guys probably in two or maybe even three separate videos. But we're going to have fun. You guys are going to laugh and that y'all will enjoy this uh, next couple episodes because I know I'm going to enjoy it myself. So, let's get to it. Like I said, i got a few more minutes and we'll be at the ranch. And we'll, uh, we'll find something to get into. Hopefully it's not trouble. What you doing? <laughs> um, brushing in this blind. P professional game of hide and go seek? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Except we're hiding and we're seeking too exactly. at the same time. Looking good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, still here at the Tomorrow Ranch with this guy, West. What's going on? <laughs> I want you guys to go down into the description below and check them out on all of their social media. Give them a follow, um, like their Instagram, keep up with all their, their stuff. They're doing some awesome things um, this summer and from moving forward, we're fixing to start deer season. We did some dove hunting this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. But uh, this afternoon, we're just kind of, you know, piddling around. We got some fun things that we're going to show you later on in this episode and then we've got some things that him and I are going to talk about and um, whitetail related. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want you guys to stick around. hope that you'll subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Um, we're actually right at the moment. We're driving around the ranch and I'm going to give you guys a look at some of the animals, some of the views, um, some of the things you get um, you get to see, you get to be a part of whenever you come and hunt the Tumara Ranch. and. Um, their website will be down in the description below so you guys can check out price list you can um, contact through you guys have email on there don't you yeah it'll be my email it'll be okay so it'll be west email and then phone numbers you know anything you guys uh, need to get in contact with the two mile ranch to come get on a hunt of a lifetime on some incredible animals um, we are out here right out of concan right concan texas it's beautiful country out here and we're gonna show it to you but uh we're, we're actually brushing in a blind right now well i'm i'm not i say we he's doing all the hard work right now and i'm talking to the camera but uh we are going to brush this in i'll show you guys a little bit of this these are pretty cool i don't get to hunt out of little brush blinds like this very often but it's it's a uh, very neat you guys also have some like hang on stands and some tripod style you know elevated stuff don't yeah, you of course. Yeah, to, every, every stand on the ranch is also rifle and it's all archery set up cool. so everyone's accommodated that's what's really really neat you know there's a lot of branches that don't want bow hunters but you know we want them we want them yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh we're just gonna go through the the, uh, the whole ropes here and show you guys a little bit of everything we are gonna hog hunt this evening that'll be a separate video i hope you will stick around for that one um as well but uh yeah i'm gonna quit blabbing we're gonna get back to it got a lot to show you guys in this episode a lot of fun things to talk about and 
yeah, let's uh, let's roll. What do you think about it? You good to I, go? I think I think I'm good to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna load back up in the truck and we're gonna show you guys the view from the very top, and it's gonna be sick. I'm excited. I haven't been up there yet, so let's rock and roll. This way is ours. Wow. Dude, how cool is that? Dude. I bet it's even prettier whenever the sun's out too, shining everything. Mm -hmm. And then the sun sets over here, oh, like it just dude. sits right there, and it's like, dude. <laughs> so this is a spot that we call High Sierra. Uh -huh. It's up on top. So basically, you know, you got your 360 view. We love our views because you know in Concan the views are just amazing. All the way out, this as far as you can see, pretty much a few mountain ranges over is our property. But let me tell you a little bit about this blind right here. So of course it's a trailer blind. So it was brought in. You know, it was here when we got the ranch. And there's actually a little military fold down bed. So if you got, you know, you got three chairs in there, big windows, and then you can fold that bed down. You can just take a nap. That's awesome. Isn't that great? <laughs> so cool, man. At the top. All I can say is uh, come get you some. It's got her favorite song. Tomorrow ranch, ladies and gentlemen. Big boy. Is the storm pretty good over there? Oh yeah, it's coming down. It's coming on down. We decided to come back in. Because of the rain, we pretty much checked everything out. We wanted to walk you guys through the lodge. Oh, oh. I want one. <laughs> yeah, so this here at the Two Mile Ranch is our common area for most people that stay here. There's two beds in the back room. You have a bigger bed and two bunks in the other room across the way. You get your own personal kitchen. It's real easy. You know, you got a TV lounge spot um, and of course all of this is air conditioned and like I'll we'll get to the rooms upstairs are conditioned as well so this is a really nice spot for people you know you can just sit chill eat hang out and uh, that's the first part of the lodge yeah. mm -hmm.
This is probably my favorite part of the whole lodge. I'll let Wes walk you guys through it. I apologize for the rain noise on the roof, but hey, can't complain about it because we need the rain everywhere. So here we go. Alrighty, so this, this is playroom. This is the main part of the lodge. You come in, we have our certain bucks, we call it the safari area. We got all ranging from our bobcats to really our basic genetic line of what we're trying to produce on the ranch. That's very important. And of course we are in the deer breeding industry as well. So of course we have different breeder bucks around the lodge and what we're trying to throw looks onto the ranch as well. So I mean, with the lodge, you have a full boarded shuffle table, shuffle board table, pool table, ping pong table, and then we got our little video game station, and that holds Big Buck Hunter Pro, Golden Tee, and Arcade Classic. So that's a really good right thing to have around the lodge because people love to play those things. Yeah. Um, of course, whenever you have a stay or whatever, it's going to be a full bar. Everything's ready to go. You go up the stairs. There's one, two, and three bedrooms upstairs with a middle bathroom. So all those rooms upstairs, of course, are air conditioned and they have a set bathroom. So that makes it very easy. Ooh. Yeah, man. I love this part of the lodge a lot. Oh, me too. Alrighty, and now we enter the commercial kitchen of the Two Mall Ranch. Um, on our side, we do full aspect of cooking. We have our personal chef that will cook for you guys, and that will come with any fees of what you're trying to get in with an animal hunt or whichever. Um, but he cooks lean cuisine, Texas-style meals, you know, your you know, chicken parmesan all the way to tilapia, rosetta. He does all those types of things, so it's... It's a very good cuisine, cuisine whenever you're here at the ranch, so that's a, a good piece of it too. We had some killer steaks last night. Holden did a fantastic job, and uh, we ate good all weekend. We really did. Um, we also, we had a little bit of a competitive ping pong match last night. <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> we, we got into it and uh, had a blast, but. Yeah, just showing you guys around, seeing what you're getting, and uh, it's been incredible. Lots of cool mounts, lots of big deer, and a lot of fun stuff all the way around. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it so far, and we'll see what else we get ourselves into. It'll be a perfect win for over there. Oh yeah, I think so too. It's going this way. So it started raining on us, you guys know we were hanging out in the lodge, but um, we did a little bit of bow shooting inside, like rolled up the big roll up door, <laughs> set a target out there and did some shooting. I may pick my bow up and shoot a couple times before we go out, but oh, there's a little bitty old buck fawn here. What do you say, little guy? <laughs> but you're hungry, aren't you? There you go, buddy. That's you just want to hold the bottle high and... That's a big hammer in it. You ate all your protein pellets. <laughs> I hate to be your mama. Oh my gosh. You ever seen nine ounces go away so fast? <laughs> Dude, he slurped it, man. <laughs> That's it, buddy. <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I ain't got my finger. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't care to be petted right now. I just want to eat. <laughs> Look at that belly boy. <laughs> That's the boy. <laughs> You're going to be a big old buck. You know it. He's like, Quit trying to pet me and just feed me. I oh, got my shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh. 060. Dad, my boy. So that's a pretty neat little story. Who found him again? So Wyatt found him. I have a twin brother named Wyatt, and he's actually in with our deer breeding stuff. 
and it was actually he was one of the triplets so a, a mama doe had triplets and he was a knockoff buck right i mean honestly when we found him he was about the size of about this bottle right here i mean wow. he was just tiny 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 just super skinny and um got him in this little round pen and you know he had some hair deficiencies a zinc problem but you know we've got him all back but it was actually a really cool story you know it's uh you never want to give up on any of the animals in the industry, you know, no matter what you do with the animals. You know, we love animals to death, and we love to see them grow up into what they really can become. And he's going to be something else one day, and I can't wait till we can actually see that. That's, awesome. That's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah. Of course, now looking at him, he's just as healthy as can be. Get a little zoom in on him there. Just super healthy and ready to be a big guy. What do you say, little buddy? <laughs> He's like, when are you bringing me another bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was fun. Thought you guys would enjoy that. Just a little piece of what's going on this afternoon. Well, guys, I was doing a very good job of filming intros for these videos at the Two Mile Ranch, but I have made a terrible habit of not filming outros. So that's what we're going to do right now. Hope that you enjoyed this fun little episode. I'm going to throw in something right now that hopefully you guys will enjoy towards the back end of this video. It was just a fun, spur of the moment little hog hunt. Okay, so hope that you uh, hope that you enjoyed the miss. Um, it was stupid. We shouldn't have missed. Both of those were a complete miss. We went and checked our arrows, and you know what? It happens. That three, two, one countdown. Both shoot at the same time with the bow is extremely difficult, and so we didn't have very much success there. Picked up both of our arrows. Found out that we did both, in fact, completely miss. But it was fun anyway. Had pigs come in on us, and uh, it's always fun being out there hunting. Another huge thanks to West uh, with the Two Mile Ranch. All their social media will be linked down in the description below so you guys can go down there and, and check them out. Give them the follow and uh, book a hunt. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram. Go look at their website. The whole, the whole uh, nine yards there. So with all that being said, I'm gonna close this video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. It is deer season and I already have a video for you. <laughs> but. I wanted to get these out of the way and then we'll start the deer season videos. Y'all are awesome and I will see you in just a couple days.